back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. So today I have a really, really fun video. I've not actually done anything like this on my channel, but I am going to be trying airbrushing my makeup. Yes, I'm going to be trying airbrushing my makeup. I've never tried it before and oh my gosh, it has been so much fun. I've got this little bad boy right here. Look how beautiful it looks. I've also partnered with Aeroblend on this video. So thank you so much. Without them, I wouldn't be able to bring this video to you guys. But my skin... Can we just take a second to have a look at this skin? It looks incredible and I have airbrushed it. So if you guys want to see how I have achieved this makeup look, I've also got like a, yeah, like a quick little makeup look of how I finished it. But if you want to see how I airbrush my makeup and also see this tutorial, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've just started off by tying my hair up. Probably wearing white wasn't the best idea because I'm probably going to get makeup on it. But hey ho, just get the hair out of the way and we're going to start off with a bare skin. Okay, so because we are using water-based products, Aeroblend do have water-based products with their airbrushing system. We don't want to use a primer because it's not going to stick well, especially your silicon primer. Anything that is silicon, the water-based products are not going to stick to. So what I am going to do is I am going to add some moisturizer. I'll be using the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light. This is more of an illuminizer, so it's just going to give us a really nice fresh skin look and it's also going to hydrate the skin which is really important. I just want to stress that it is important that you do let the moisturizer sink in before you do any airbrushing but what we are going to go on to do is I've watched a couple of YouTube videos on airbrushing because I am not a pro at this at all and they all seem to be putting their corrector and concealer on before they do the airbrushing which in my head makes sense because you don't want to disrupt the layer of skin that you're going to achieve that is airbrushed. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to be using the Uge. I'm going to be using the NC45 and 42 MAC Pro Longwear, mixing these two together. And then I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes and just around my mouth area where I do suffer from pigmentation to cover that up. Okay, so now we can move on to the fun stuff. This is the Aeroblend airbrushing machine. What it comes with is a compressor like this. You have a button to switch on and off. The machine, you've also got the plus and the minus sign, which kind of just dictates the pressure, the air pressure, and how much product will then come out. And then you've obviously got your airbrush as well. So I'm so excited to be using this and get this really nice airbrushed, flawless finish that we all want. The actual kit, I've got it in the shade tan. However, you can get four shades. It comes in light, medium, tan, and dark. This is just the tan one that the girl at Aeroblend, bless her, matched me up with. And I have tried the colors once and they are absolutely stunning. It is important to just note that these foundation colors do not look like what they look like in the packaging. So you do wanna just test them out on your arm. You've also got a bronzer and you have a blusher and a highlight color with it as well within the kit. Okay, so the foundation colors that I have selected are N40 and N45. It does say that you need to shake them well, so I'm gonna shake them well before I apply them within the airbrush. Okay, so what I am gonna do now is I'm gonna apply a couple of drops of N40, and then I'm also gonna apply a couple of drops of N45 just into this little compartment right here. Okay, what I do like to do is just do a little patch test on my arm to see that the color is coming out okay if I need to add any more drops of anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly test this on my arm and then just get a grip of like the pressure and just get a hang of it before I start doing it on my face. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have airbrushed my arm. I'm happy with the color of that. So I'm now gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna airbrush my skin. I'm not gonna hold this too close to my face because I don't want it to create like a blob all over my face. We're gonna hold it at a distance and go in circular motions all the way around over our skin just to get a really nice flawless finish. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys that this is what the airbrush actually sounds like on. It's a little bit obnoxious and that's why I muted it, but it does sound like this. So it would have been difficult for me to talk over this. Okay, so this is what my skin actually looks like once it's been airbrushed with my concealer on. I will say that looking at it, it looks like it's, it is a tad too dark, but that would probably be to do with the shade drops and have to get them precise. And I feel like that would only come with time just to know how much of what you needed in terms of shade. But I feel like I can still work with it. I know that I've done my concealer before, but I want to brighten this up. So what I am actually going to do is I'm actually going to go in with a lighter concealer now. And I'm going to be using my moisture cover 
This is the Moisture Cover by MAC in the shade NC35. It's just quite a lightweight one, so I'm going to pop this on all the areas that I will usually highlight. And then I'm just going to buff that out with a damp beauty blender and see how the skin takes to it. Okay, so what I can say is I didn't find that the concealer at all disrupted the airbrush skin. It hasn't like pulled away. It still looks really flawless and it works quite well with the beauty blender as well. I'm feeling like my skin is literally looking flawless. Like even though I didn't use a primer, I can't see any pores. I can't see any of that. It looks really smooth, but at the same time, it's looking very, very natural and it's not looking cakey at all. It does just look like a second layer of skin. It looks like my skin, but better which is what I really like about this tool. It really does just look airbrushed. Okay, so the kit actually also comes with a bronzer. This one is called Nude Beach Bronzer. I've tested it on the back of my hand and I really like the color of it. So I'm actually gonna try bronzing my skin with this as well. I don't know how it's gonna go, but we might as well just give it a go. So I'm gonna add a couple of drops of Nude Beach within the airbrush. I don't really need to clean it out at all because I've already used it for skin, it'll be fine. And then I'm just gonna start bronzing where I usually would if I was like cream contouring or bronzing. And we're gonna just test it out. Can I just quickly add that this bronzer color is absolutely amazing. It's that sort of color that I would usually go for. It's quite warm and I feel like it's really, really natural. I might add a powder on top to see if a powder does sit well on top of the makeup. But just if you wanted something that was really lightweight and flawless and you couldn't really see it, this bronzer is banging. Also, just to quickly add, I am quite clumsy. So I was going like this and going like this and I did have a little bit of product fall out. So you've just got to be careful that you do keep this container level because it's holding all of the liquid. Now that I am pretty happy with the skin and I'm really impressed that I really didn't get much product in my hair, I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna quickly brush them through with a spoolie. Didn't actually get much makeup through them as well, which is so weird. I'm gonna brush them out and then I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in a dark brown. And I'm just gonna quickly fill them in as per usual, how I usually do, I like quite a fierce brow. So we're just gonna fill in the gaps and give us a really nice bitch brow. <laughs> I'm then just going to quickly lay down my brow hairs with a little bit of Benefits Give Me Brow in the shade number 3. Now I'm going to go back in with that moisture cover and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and I'm also just going to prime my eyelids with this concealer. And then I'm just going to quickly buff that bad boy out. And then as per usual we're just going to set the eyelids in place really quickly with a little bit of MAC's Loose Mineralized Powder in the shade Light and our Kat Von D number 5 brush. Okay, so for eyes, I wanted to keep it pretty simple seen as this is more of a skin focus. So I am going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. This palette doesn't get enough love. I feel like I don't have the same love for it, unfortunately, as other people do. But I am going to be taking the shade Raw Sienna and Burn Orange first. I'm just going to mix them together and use a MAC 224 brush and then just pop this into my crease to create a really nice light smoke. I'm also going to take these colours and I'm just going to apply them on my lower lash line. I will just make it clear to you guys that, that these colours are like my everyday sort of colours. So if I'm doing something like a skin focus, then the eyes are going to be pretty simple. I'm not going to do a complex eye because I don't want the video to be too long for you guys. So um, we're just going to stick with very, very simple eyes. I'm then going to go back into the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be taking Golden Ochre just on this Sigma Medium Sweeper brush and I'm going to apply it just to my lid space and not going above the crease at all, just to my lid space because I want quite open, awake eyes today. Now I'm going to be using my MAC Brush Stroke Liner in Brush Black. I love this liner so much. Really good liner if you struggle with doing like cat eyes or wings. It's just so easy to use. So I'm going to give myself some wings because I've been liking that look recently. I came off that bandwagon for a while but I'm really loving it and I love how it makes my eyes look. So I'm just going to give myself a quick wing on both eyes. Once you have your wings down, I'm just going to be adding a little bit of mascara. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational as per usual. Now because this is me, I am going to be using lashes. I'm using the Boosh Lashes in Salacia Lash. I'm going to be applying a little bit of Duo Lash Glue to them and then applying these bad boys right on. Okay, so the lashes are on. I love these lashes. They make your eyes just look so doll-like. They really open up my eyes. And I've also just applied a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes whilst I was waiting for that glue to dry. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to be using Max Here Comes Joy, their face powder illuminizer, the one that's come out with their Snowball Christmas collection. And I'm just going to apply this to all of the high points of the face. 
Okay, so I must say that this airbrush foundation, the bronzer, everything is taking so well, so nicely to powders. It is also dried to more of a kind of semi-matte satin finish on my skin, which I really like and I really prefer, more so than a matte finish, but the powders are just gliding on so smoothly and you can't they're not like picking up any product the product itself has dried now completely i'm also going to be adding a little bit of bronzer i know we did that with the airbrush but because i've gone over with highlight i can see the line of highlight and you guys know i don't like that so i'm going to be using a little bit of maybelline's master bronze just taking all of the darker colors together mixing them together and then i will be bronzing up my skin everywhere that we've applied the airbrush it'll be cool to see if that takes well on top as well okay so the bronzer has taken really nicely on top of the liquid bronzer i haven't got any issues whatsoever i wouldn't try going over with the liquid on top of the powder just because i feel like it might congeal but it was a really nice base and if i didn't add maybe so much highlighter i probably wouldn't even need to add the powder bronzer on top okay so moving on to lips i'm actually going to be using nyx's lingerie and this is in the shade ruffle trim it's been one of my favorites for a while now so just a really nice kind of coral fresh summery lip even though we're in winter so i'm going to apply this all over the lip and then sticking to that kind of coral peach family i'm going to be adding a little bit of lady be good by mac just in the center and then giving that a quick a finger blend now I'm just going to give myself a quick spritz of MAC Fix Plus because you guys know that I love to drench myself in this. And that is it for the completed makeup look. Okay guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it. If you are interested in looking into Aeroblend or the airbrushing kit, then I actually do have a link for you to a discount code. You can get 10% off using my discount code Nikki10. I'll link everything down below as well as well as well as their website as well. Everything that you need to know. But overall, my overall thoughts of airbrushing is it's bomb like it is so nice i always used to stay away from it i always knew that there was the idea of airbrushing but i thought it was going to take ages to do mixing the colors things like that but actually it doesn't take that long whatsoever and your skin looks flawless so if you've got like maybe a bride or it's your wedding day or you've got an event to go to and you want everything to look effortless like you've not got much makeup on but your skin just looks flawless it is very very easy to achieve with an airbrushing machine so i will leave all the links down below if you are interested so that is it guys for this video leave me all your comments down below let me know what you thought let me know if you've also tried airbrushing yourself and if you've got any tips or tricks for me because i am going to be using this bad boy quite a lot i want to kind of use it in some of my tutorials if you guys want to see that then let me know because i just think it's quite fun um, other than that i don't think i have anything else to report other than i will see you in my next video love you Mwah!